Hey folks, we have a 78 Bronco with the C6 and we're going to be testing the uh, transmission fluid pressure, control pressure with a gauge and we're going to see how uh, things are looking. So what I've done here is uh, tapped into the fluid, fluid pressure, uh, I guess, tap out area and that's basically right there. Uh, installed the teeth fitting and then a hose there so the one eighth inch NPT T fitting and then a hose that hose runs through the lower side of the firewall up here and what I'm trying to figure out is uh, where I need to be in terms of fluid pressure so this is what I took out of the plug that I got out of that uh, tap for the fluid control pressure or this is what I installed back or something like this it's a 90 degree fitting and I'm pretty sure this is uh, the exact same kind of fitting that I installed this kit came with two of them so this is the other one it's 1 8 uh, I think NPD uh, 13 threads per inch from what I can tell what this book basically says is the vacuum modulator that you adjust with the screw to uh, if you turn it in the ships are firmer and lighter if you turn it out counterclockwise the ships are softer and uh, sooner but the book says don't judge just judge that just based on uh, how the truck drives but actually put a gauge on it to figure out the fluid pressure so what this book says is if you're eight an inch and higher with the throttle closed in the forward range and neutral, you should see somewhere between 40 to 60 pip, uh, 40 to 60 psi. And I'm actually on the little bit higher side there. You can see, uh, just closer to the higher side. Now, if you are, park and put the truck in reverse, you should be in the 60 to 93 range. Let's see where we are. I'm actually a little bit on the higher side. Now note that I've kind of been around the block. It's not 100% warm, but pretty close to warm. I don't think the fluid is 100% warm. This book does make it clear that uh, some temperature should be at a hot idle. Cold fluids will give you a little bit higher reading. So I'm gonna hope that uh, that little bit higher reading that's above the 93 spec is just because I'm not fully warm, but we'll see. Now, while you're driving transition, you should see a rise in pressure. Now, when your throttle is maybe halfway open and uh, engine vacuum is around 10, in the forward range, you should see between 110 and uh, 114. This is kind of when you're maybe gently accelerating. Now, uh, at a low vacuum, when with wide open throttle, you should see 150 to 180. Low vacuum, open, reverse it climbs up quite a way side so i'm gonna guess this is why i got recommendation that uh put the truck uh, in reverse and gun the heck out of it this should force um the most amount of our you know what should i say fluid pressure in there it might clean up the possibly the passages or whatnot so we'll see how the truck drives now so i'm gonna it's in reverse now going back to neutral we're below that 60 number. I'm gonna put it in drive now. And as I drive, just keep an eye on the gauge. You saw that as I got close to the wide open throttle, I got close to 150. But of course I didn't upshift, uh, or may I may have. Now I'm stopped. And let's see if it downshift. It looks like I'm back in one. second gear coming up to a stop and I don't know that I've downshifted but let's see yeah I'm back in one now it is acting better than it used to be we're downshifting now automatically at a stop at least I don't think it still downshifts to one 
when you're slowing down. Okay, now we're gonna go on a to the full range now. See, I'm now. See if that's normal. I think it is. So based on this, honestly, I think uh, my vacuum modulator is where it needs to be. In fact, a little bit on the higher side, firmer shift, which is fine. fast so now I'm, I'm back in the garage and uh, by now the fluid should be pretty warm close to warm we might be a hair bit on the higher side, to be honest, close up uh, towards the 60 spec. But I'm gonna leave it where it is because it's within spec on the higher side. I think it's better to have it on the higher side for a bit firmer ships. 